Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 31st of May 2024. Next missing analyst to go markets to lead you around. What's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session? Of course, overnight we saw US markets soft again. Continued concerns about the trajectory on timing of rate cuts and, of course, the stubbornness of inflation. We did see bond yields drop a little after rising early this week, but markets still on track for a positive month. And of course, we've got that key PCE data tonight that may be critical in terms of sentiment going forward. US futures slightly lower in Asian trade, but Asian equity markets are ignoring that the US lead and are showing gains throughout the day so far. ASX is managing to hold on to an upside of around about a half a percent, uh, although European futures are pointing to a cautious open later. US dollar index gave up some of the gains from the previous day on lower GDP and Q on QPCE numbers, which are a little on the soft side. We saw gold edge back subsequently towards 2350. Copper didn't look happy and dropped through support. Oil is also testing a key level to the downside. Bitcoin remains range bound as it has all week. And of course, on top of that year and year PCE data, we've got we've had Chinese PMI slightly softer than expected on the manufacturing number, slight rise in Japanese CPI or European CPI this afternoon. A couple of charts at Core RI today. We're certainly liking Fisher and Paykel Healthcare. We can see there we've got a test of $27. This is a really critical key point. You can see it's had several attempts to breach that over the last month. This did re represent highs not seen since back here in the early part of 2022. So there's a long-term double bottom suggests this change in sentiment and a possible move up to $30 in the medium term. On the FX front, we're seeing a lot of crosses are sideways trending throughout the day. You can see here the Aussie yen on the hourly chart is a good example of that we are looking for a potential breach of 103.83 at this stage playing with 104 we've got a subsequent drop and a retest and a breach of that level we could see it down 40 to 50 pips one to keep an eye on as we progress through the day trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now